everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley Elise for those of you who are new here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Today I am going to actually be filming a Tis the Season Christmas tag video that I was tagged to do by Naeli Wade. Um, I believe that this video was actually thought up by three others, um, which would be Rosario, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, Heather and Brandy. So I'll leave all of their information down below. Um, but this is such a fun video. I watched Nayeli's video on it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a great idea. So I'm so glad that she tagged me in it. Thank you so much, Nayeli, for that. Let's go ahead and get started with a little bit of Christmas fun. So there are 15 different questions here that I'm going to be referencing. And then I'm just going to answer those questions so you guys can get to know me a little bit and my style let's go ahead and jump into it okay so the first question is what is your favorite Christmas scent oh that is a really really hard one um, right now I am currently obsessed with this eggnog candle that I purchased from Hobby Lobby um, I mentioned it previously in one of my other videos that I had posted I think it was my um, my self-care routine video i had mentioned it and it's an eggnog thick and frothy from hobby lobby right now that is my scent of the season question number two what is your favorite christmas song honestly my favorite christmas song i think is carol of the bells i have loved that song forever i heard it for the first time in the santa claus and ever since then i've just loved that song i think there's just something so wonderful about it and it just brings back childhood memories i guess so that would be my favorite Christmas song. Number three, do you host any Christmas parties? And the answer to that is no, we do not. My husband and I are pretty introverted, um, which is kind of funny because I love doing YouTube and making videos and posting and interacting with people. And my husband actually streams on Twitch, which you guys probably know as well. So we both interact with people and he has a very people person kind of job so that would be surprising but we're just not very social so we don't do christmas parties and things like that um the only exception to that would be the christmas party that we do every year with my aunt and uncle and cousins which you guys would have seen in one of my previous videos from vlogmas as well number four what type of tree do you put up artificial or real growing up we had both so at one point we did the real trees we ne i don't think we ever went and cut one down that i can remember i could be wrong um, but we would always buy one from a Christmas tree lot and set that up. However, we had a lot of issues with it dying and it's just like a lot of upkeep and the pine needles falling off and all of that. So we didn't end up uh, doing that much longer and we switched over to artificial. And since being an adult, I have only done artificial trees because I can't keep anything alive to save my life. Um, with the exception of my child, of course, <laughs> but I just don't have a lot of luck with plants. I don't have a green thumb, so we do artificial here. Next question, favorite Christmas food? That is also a really hard question for me, but I think my new favorite as of this year are our Christmas sugar cookies, which if you watched my video that I posted just yesterday and the sugar cookies I am obsessed with, they are so good. So that would be my favorite Christmas food right now. When do you open up gifts is question number six, Christmas Eve or Christmas day. Now, Again, this one's kind of a complicated answer. Naturally, I don't have a short answer to anything. We have done both. So with my husband's mom, we've usually been doing it on Christmas Eve that we would open up Christmas gifts for with her. I think for like the past two years we did that. And then Christmas Day, we would open up Christmas gifts with all of my family. But this year, we're actually going to be opening up all our Christmas gifts together on Christmas Day. Now that Novali is here, I really want to get back to sticking to more of like a regular routine so she kind of knows what to expect. And we will be doing it on Christmas Day with the exception of her Christmas Eve pajamas that she'll be getting from my parents. Number seven, do you have a Christmas theme when decorating? I have not before. This is the first year that I actually decided on a Christmas theme that I really love. And I went with red, white, and like silver as my Christmas theme. 
there's no other like method to the madness and honestly next year I'll probably change it up because I just really like variety and Christmas season is my favorite time of year. Backtrack, we're going back to question number eight because I missed that one. Um, what is one of your favorite Christmas traditions? I love this question. My favorite Christmas tradition is actually one that I remember from my childhood growing up and that was having my grandpa and my grandma come over Christmas Eve and spending the night with us. The kids would go to bed and the parents would stay up. They would put out Christmas gifts, do stocking stuffers, put out our big Christmas gifts um, from Santa, all of that. And so that is my favorite Christmas memory growing up and I'm hoping that as Novali is growing up, that that is something we can carry on, is having her grandma and grandpa coming over and spending the night, um, and maybe even her aunt and uncle, if that's something they wanna do. Um, that will be completely up to them, but that is a Christmas memory that I will treasure for my whole life. When do you, okay, so back to question nine, when do you normally start shopping for Christmas? I sadly am one of those procrastinators. I'm one of those people, especially this year, I waited much later to get all of my Christmas shopping done. I just finished shopping for my Christmas stocking stuffers yesterday. Um, I just wrapped my Christmas presents two, three, maybe four days ago. So I'm way behind the curve this year. Um, I start shopping usually on Black Friday. Sometimes a little before that, depending on if I can find something that I really, really want at a good price throughout the year. Question number 10. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Oh boy, I really love the Santa Claus. I think that will always be my first, like first favorite Christmas movie. And I think would be tied probably with White Christmas. If you haven't seen either of those movies, I would highly recommend that you add those to your list of movies to watch before Christmas day, because they both are amazing and they really get you into the Christmas spirit if you're having issues this year. Number 11. Um, so first I wanna start off by saying that if you are a parent and you're watching this video with your children, um, you will probably want to send your kids away because this is a question that's really geared towards parents and I don't wanna spoil anything or do anything special. Um, not special ruin anything special. <laughs> so, do your kids believe in Santa? What age will you tell them that Santa is not real? Um, Novali, this is her first Christmas, so I can't really say that she believes in Santa. Are we going to do Santa with her? Yes. However, my husband and I, well really, I have more so decided that I really want to incorporate um, Jesus into Christmas because that's so important in our family. We are Christian and I, w I don't want to take away the Christmas magic by taking Santa out of Christmas. However, I do want to make sure that she understands that the reason for Christmas is Jesus's birth and that's the reason we celebrate that it's not all about the presents and the gifts um, but it's about spending time with family and those that you love and celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. So, with that being said, my kind of game plan with Santa is to actually portray Santa kind of more as like an elf um, as she gets older and can really understand that concept. So she will be getting gifts from Santa and then um, she has some gifts that she'll be getting that are from Jesus and Santa. And so really, I'm planning to explain it to her when she's older that Santa was one of Jesus's elves. and. Santa was based on a real person who went around and gave gifts to children who didn't have things and really tried to spread Christmas spirit and things like that. And I think that's so important. I think that's really cool. So I don't think it's something that I'm going to ban in our house. I'm just gonna do it a little bit differently. What age will I tell her that Santa is not real? I don't really know. So here's a little fun story for you guys, which um, makes me really hesitant and unsure of kind of how to navigate these Santa waters. But when I was a kid, my parents did do Santa Claus with me, my sister. They did not do Santa Claus with my brother and here's why. Apparently my sister was getting older and they felt like it was time to tell us that Santa Claus wasn't real. And I don't remember exactly how all of this came about. But basically they sat us down at the table and they were starting to explain to us, you know, 
you remember how this happened and this happened and the presents were put out when you woke up. Well, that wasn't actually Santa Claus. That was mommy and daddy. And that, I like lost my mind. I could not believe that they had lied to me my entire life. I actually used those words at the age of like five. I said, I can't believe you've lied to me my entire life. And I had a complete and total meltdown. And then of course, naturally, I started yelling and screaming at my parents. Oh, so does that mean the Easter Bunny's not real and the Tooth Fairy's not real? And and I just, you know, kept going on and on. And they were just like, yes, that does mean that. And I just was so livid and upset. That was the reason they decided not to do Santa Claus with my little brother. Sorry, Luke, that I ruined that for you. <laughs> Um, but that makes me really unsure as to what age I want to explain to Novali that Santa Claus is no longer real because he was a real person, but he's no longer real and mommy and daddy have kind of taken over that role. So I don't know. I'm going to have to brainstorm on that and I have no idea what age. I think it's really going to depend on when she really starts to figure things out and I don't know that I will be the person to tell her Santa Claus isn't real, but she will probably pick that up from people either at church or at school or maybe just out and about. I don't really know. Question number 12. What do you top your tree with? Star, angel, bow, etc. I have one tree that has nothing on the top and then I have another tree that has a star on the top and then another tree that doesn't have anything on the top. My parents' tree always had an angel on the top growing up, so I don't know if at some point I'll incorporate that, but typically it's just a star. Question number 13. What is your main dish for Christmas dinner? Every year we actually kind of try and change it up what the main dish is gonna be, but typically it's ham. Um, sometimes I think we've done turkey, and I think at one year we actually did like a brisket or something similar to that. Question number 14. Do you prefer multicolor lights or white Christmas lights? I personally love the white Christmas lights, but I'm gonna go like a step further and say that I'm really picky because I don't like the bright white or the white white. I don't really know exactly what it's called, but I don't like the really bright ones. I like the dimmer ones, so the yellow white Christmas lights. Those are the ones I specifically like because I just feel like they create such like a magical Christmassy atmosphere. Whereas like the colored lights and the white, white lights, I feel like they're just a little too much for me and they're just not really in line with my personality. Whereas I feel like the white or the yellow, white Christmas lights that I like so much, they just are very clean and crisp and I just love something so much about that. Finally, question number 15. When you decorate, do you decorate your entire house or only certain areas? This is actually my first year where we have like our own space together as a family. So I went all out and I completely decorated the whole basement living area that we have with the exception of Novalee's nursery. And that's just because there really wasn't a whole lot of room in there this year. And she spends most of her time with us in our bedroom or in the main area. So in here this year, I didn't do a whole lot. I do have Novalee's Christmas tree over here in the corner. Um, and as you can see, that's the tree that has the silver star on top of it. Um, so that's really the extent of what I did in here this year. Usually I go a little bit more over the top, um, but I've been quite busy and preoccupied with Nobly this year, so I didn't really go as all out. But I did decorate the rest of our home and I went all out in the main area so that it, you know, it could be seen for everybody. That is all of the questions that are listed. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I will be linking down in the description below both Nayeli's video as well as Heather, Brandy, and Rosario's videos as well. So you guys can go through and watch all of them. Thank you guys so much for creating this tag. That's been so much fun to film. Again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear your answers to these questions. Also, go ahead and head over to my Instagram account, which is at Ashley underscore Elise 19 and follow me over there for more video updates, Novali updates, all the updates. <laughs> also be sure to subscribe if you're new here to the red letters down below. Turn on your notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next day of Vlogmas.